Welcome to my weekly coaching session, everyone. I am Driven Fitness Erica, your friendly and fabulous online personal trainer and menopause coach. Welcome to my session. I'm here most weeks, Thursdays around 7.30 with a replay if you're watching this on YouTube or my newsletter. Ah, someone just joined us. Good morning. That took about three and a half minutes for Facebook to let people know I was here. How are you? So today on our Facebook Live session, we are going to talk about when to see a chiropractor versus a massage therapist versus a doctor. So the first thing I'm going to say, and no one is going to like this answer, you should always go see a doctor. <laughs> Whether it's a chronic pain that goes, you know, it's like lasted over months, sometimes years by the time people go to see a doctor, or it's a sudden traumatic, I say traumatic, that doesn't have, mean, have to mean like a car accident, but if you think you sprained something, pulled something, and it doesn't go away within a few days, if it's been around for a week, then you should definitely go see a doctor. Will they give you a diagnosis that's helpful? I don't know, it just depends on your doctor. Um, but number one, it's important because they're a medical professional. Number two, a lot of the other health professionals like myself cannot diagnose problems. We need a diagnosis to work with. And number three, it's important to get that record of care, right? In case you need something later on. I always recommend x-rays and MRIs before you start treatment of any kind of ache or pain because you gotta see what is happening before you can figure out what to do about it, right? So yes, I say always go visit a doc if you're dealing with an injury. Now, after that, who should you see? Well, many times these days now, I will recommend a physical therapist, which typically will be prescribed by a doctor, and they are very good in general at prescribing PT these days. It's one of the first things that they do, oftentimes before they even do MRIs or x-rays, which I don't love, because even the PT needs to see what's going on, right? But that seems to be the um, like order of care these days. Good morning. So first you go see a doctor. Second, many times they will recommend a PT and people always groan and roll their eyes and they never wanna see a physical therapist. But the thing is, especially if it's a chronic pain, something that's been going on for a very long time, then, uh, a PT is someone who can take that area. So say like you have a shoulder issue. Many, many times, good morning, we have someone else joining us. We are talking about physical therapy. So many times, there's a lot of things happening. Maybe you injured it. Maybe um, it's a problem because you spend your time like this in front of a computer screen all day. But there's many times things going on with all the little muscles in the shoulder joint. And a physical therapist is really the one that is trained to get in there and make sure that the small muscles start doing the job that they're supposed to be doing. So you could go to a massage therapist, you could go to a chiropractor. They can help out in a variety of ways. Typically, and I'm not talking about all of them, but typically their specialty is not teaching the muscles to do what they're supposed to be doing so that the problem goes away permanently, right? So that is why physical therapy is important. And usually many times physical therapy can also add in massage therapy and chiropractic like bone manipulations as part of their work. So physical therapy, which a lot of times is covered by insurance, like go for it. If you do it right away at the beginning of your injury, then many times it will only take six sessions and then you're done. But if you ignore it and try all the other things, which I'm not saying is bad, sometimes it's gonna take a lot longer to get rid of that ache or pain, especially if it's chronic. Now, if you've had what I call a traumatic injury, say like you've strained a muscle, torn a muscle, broken something, physical therapy is super important because many times those muscles just stop talking to each other and they stop doing their job because they're injured, right? So they're healing or they can't move, they're in a cast, you're in a brace, whatever it is, a sling. So I always recommend that you go to physical therapy after this kind of injury because again, you want the muscles to be able to doing, do their jobs properly so other muscles don't have to take over for them. So it's more of a preventative after an injury like this because you want um, to prevent future injuries or future issues from those muscles not having to work for a while. So number one, doc. Number two, physical therapy. When does massage and chiropractic come in? So chiropractor is manipulation of the bones themselves, right? Chiropractic 
can help a wide range of problems. I'm a huge fan of chiropractors, good chiropractors. Just like in any industry, including mine, there's great ones, there's ones that are not as great. So make sure you have a highly reputable chiropractor that you can get recommended from someone who already goes to them if possible. What's great about chiropractors is many times some of these niggles, like say you go to the doctor and they're like, there is nothing wrong with your shoulder. Well, sometimes it's actually due to just a misalign misalignment of your bones that have been, has been happening for a really long time. Something's misaligned, so then the muscles aren't working properly, that causes pain. It's kind of like getting the alignment done on your car, right? So after you get the tires changed, you wanna get alignment done because otherwise, if you don't, you run those wheels misaligned and they wear funny and then you have problems, they wear out sooner, right? Same idea with chiropractors. So I have no problem with going to try a chiropractor first, especially if the docs don't see anything specific wrong with you. Um, like it's not a tear, it's not arthritis, because a lot of times chiropractors can find just very, very small misalignments that are causing big issues. Chiropractors can also do a lot of things neurologically. So they deal with nerves as well. So if you have kind of like nervy pain, sometimes migraines, everything um, from allergies to infertility, there's a lot of uh, things that people don't commonly think of that chiropractors can help with. So do your due diligence and don't be afraid to explore it as an alternate. I go to chiropractors all the time. However, my thing that I say with chiropractors is if they're aligning the bones, you wanna make sure then also you get the muscles around those bones to work properly. So say like there's a bone getting pulled out because you have a tight muscle on one side, which is not unusual, right? That tight muscle, if you don't do anything about it, it's just gonna pull the bone out of place again and then you're just gonna have to go back to the chiropractor. He's gonna put it back in and then it's just gonna get pulled out. So when people go to chiropractors, I always say that you want to match it or also go see a massage therapist if they don't have one because massage therapy works on the soft tissue around the bones, right? So you want to address the soft tissue issue, those tight muscles that are pulling bones funny, and you wanna um, address the misalignment itself. So those two things together. So really, you have to choose what works for you, what you feel comfortable with in terms of your own thoughts, feelings, and beliefs around the medical system and the kind of practitioners that you like to go see. Some people tend to be more holistic. Some people tend to be more Western um, believing in their medical beliefs. That's fine. Find the one that works for you. But they all can work together to create a nice, sound, fit, healthy, balanced body. All right? So I hope that helps today. Doctor always <laughs> to get a diagnosis, physical therapy, massage, chiropractor. Oh, the last one I want to talk about is acupuncturists. Acupuncture deals with inflammation in the body. We all have inflammation in the body these days. So anyone can go see an um, acupuncturist for, for, again, a variety of issues and probably get results. But that's another one. If you have one area of the body that's inflamed, if you're having issues with inflammation in general, then acupuncture might be a great source for you to help deal with the inflammation in your body. You know, I believe in a blend of both Eastern and Western medicine. Western medicine is extremely important. It has its place. It's helped me many, many times. But there's a reason that Eastern medicine has been around for thousands of years, right? So I tend to combine both depending on how I'm feeling. So if you're someone who likes to combine both, you might want to start develop a, to develop a team of wellness professionals that can help you from the Eastern and Western medicine side. Okay, so that was it for me today. A nice quick one, about 10 minutes long. So doctor first for diagnosis, physical therapy, if possible, massage, chiropractor, and acupuncture as add-ons or for those daily niggles. Okay, so just a reminder, if you haven't joined the Mile a Day Challenge, then what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the posts a couple days that I posted below and join because you get an entry for our grand prize every single day you complete your mile. You don't have to complete all the days, every single day. We only need nine more people to hit our 50 person goal. So summer's coming up, you gotta get your body moving. This is the perfect time to do it. So go out, I'm gonna go out right now and walk with Molly and get her mile in. So maybe I'll see you out there. Bye.